Bruh. Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art of War 3. Uh, of course, uh, I don't think I really need to explain this, but we're gonna be playing another tournament battle. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we can fast forward it. Yeah, same deal. Get those units from those uh, containers in order to uh, have early map control. Okay, nice. Nice, nice. Okay, so it looks like my opponent is massing up troops in the center, uh, which of course we don't want to happen. Okay. Do it, a sniper. Okay, okay. Good, snipers are very useful. Okay, building an avia factory so I can produce some dragonflies along with these coyotes and riflemen. Okay, coyote on gold scouting boost and we can see, okay, our opponent is actually pretty good. He's not bad at all with five supply centers and two power plants. This guy has some good infrastructure. Okay. Okay, so fortress and assaults. Yeah. Okay, let's see this. Yeah, not a chance. Okay, putting on that common defense boost to increase my uh, unit's firepower. Okay, as mentioned in another video, common defense boosts actually increase firepower by 30%, making them more useful than common attack boosts, but only within the first 10 minutes of battle. Okay. Yeah, so, the, my opponent is trying pretty hard to gain other map control, but... Yeah, it's not really working. Okay, but since that dragonfly is gone, yeah. Yeah, but meanwhile, I have the situation con under control in the middle of the map, so yeah. That's pretty useful. Okay, sniper as a scout is actually very useful, but since my sniper isn't upgraded, the view radius is not that big. Okay, but anyways, yeah. Okay, I really need to upgrade my dragonfly. My dragonfly is, uh, it's okay. It can handle some situations good, but it's not the best. Come on, down. Nice. Okay, fast forward. Okay. Ooh. So it looks like my opponent is trying for a, for a side attack. Okay. So yeah. Okay, another large, a larger army as well. Okay, can this sniper finish building? And nice, okay. Sniper Tower has finished building. Common defense. Okay, it looks like he's aiming at my dragonflies, but I'm gonna take down that hammer. Okay, let's go. One more, one more shot. Nice. Oh wow, he was actually able to destroy that sniper tower. Okay, but I built uh, emergency sniper towers over here just in case another large-scale attack started to come in. Okay. Okay, come on, destroy that assault. Nice, all right. Okay, ooh, container spotted. So at this point in time, I'm only winning by one container, so it's not really that good. Okay, just what I didn't need. Come on. Okay. So now that I have several Jaguars, it will be much easier to uh, control the middle of the map. And once I control the middle of the map, gaining map control on the bottom left and the top right will be much, much easier. Okay. Okay, so that's a lot of assaults. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. So. Yeah. Oh, and 
and and come on come on survive please survive okay yeah we survived nice okay so yeah basically we now have the middle of the map under control oh yeah look at that and beauty at its finest Jaguars firing at long range always it's always nice to look at okay and come on there okay oh looks there's a huge army over here okay so it looks like he's going to uh, move over here and attack me Okay, so repositioning my Jaguars. Okay. Yeah, he's attacking. Okay, so I put on the vehicle attack boost. Uh, vehicle attack boost increases the Jaguars range by one. And so that will allow my Jaguars to fire upon the torrent. And nice. It was kind of his fault for not deploying the torrent uh, earlier. Even over here would have been nice. Okay. Boom. That attack was easily, easily vanquished. Okay, so it looks like he has a torrent deployed over here, firing upon my base. Okay, and a couple of hammers as well. Yeah, but my base defense will easily destroy his own hammers, since I have jaguars and dragonflies. Okay. So my base is relatively small. Uh... Of course, it's all because we. I have to keep pumping out units, uh, especially since if I stop producing units, my opponent will have map control advantage and will win by container collection. Okay, come on, come on, destroy that fortress. No, come on, just what I needed. Are you kidding me? A vehicle is reinforced? Seriously, that's not what I need. Okay. Well, I don't know what that was about. Deploying a torrent and undeploying it, but okay. Okay, another larger squad from my own base is coming. Okay, now since I have armored vehicles reinforced, watch how these assaults get demolished. Look at that. Now, it feels so good to kill these assaults like this. Okay, but yeah, he has Zeus, so yeah, my fun has easily gone down. Look at these. Okay, my dragonflies followed the units down south, and I think that's a good idea. Especially since he has a couple units coming down south. And since the armored vehicle's reinforced boost will go away, my dragonflies will have an easier time of killing these vehicles. Okay, dragonfly over here. Okay. Okay, so constantly producing units, of course. So I can gain that kind of uh, extra unit production kind of uh, advantage. Because if I stop producing units, he'll have more units than me. And will easily be able to crush me. And Zeus down. Okay, so after the dragonfly buff, dragonflies have gotten actually pretty useful. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, wow. That's uh, that's also nice. Okay, so with this dragonfly acting as a... Oh! Oh, whoa. Whoa. Okay, he is HQ level 3. No special vehicle factory in sight, yet he has a shield. Which obviously means he's gotten a shield from, from a container. I'm guessing from a container somewhere over here. So, he is lucky. Very, very lucky. Okay, and so we have to be very careful about the shield. That's going to be very dangerous if uh, if he strikes us out of nowhere and if we're not prepared for it. Okay, luckily I got a pretty good amount of uh, units over there. And I'm just continuously pumping out units as well. And the last dragonfly... Okay, good. And the last Zeus has been destroyed. 
Okay, nice. We got a mammoth artillery from that too. That's perfect. Okay, hiding a dragonfly over here, so we might be uh, using it as a scout later on. Okay, okay, fast forward. Okay, putting on the infantry scouting, uh, I mean attack boost, because any infantry attack boost, well, any uh, attack boost in general increases uh, that class's unit speed by 15%, and I needed that speed uh, to collect this container, because I really didn't, I really thought he was going to come. Oh, whoa, 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 I think he's going to attack with the shield now. Okay, okay. Okay, let's see how things turn out. Okay, he's going he's going in. It's an all-in attack. Okay, sh sieging my Jaguars and putting them on a vehicle attack boost. I didn't get a chameleon. And so let's see. Most of his army is just a bunch of assaults. Uh, nice. I moved in riflemen from the north down south and I moved some dragonflies from the south up north and so this is a full army fighting a full army and so it's always worthwhile uh, to watch a full army versus army uh, attack it's always nice this game has great graphics oh not okay so as that last Zeus was destroyed I sent my rifleman back up north and my dragonflies back down south okay and I started production of Hawks in order to uh, get higher tech because I don't want to repeat the same thing over and over again, of course. Okay, and so my opponent is now producing Typhoons. Okay, and these, yeah, Typhoons are a pretty decent threat to Dragonflies, uh, especially since my Dragonflies are not that maxed. Uh, but anyways... Yeah, he didn't even have much anti-air, uh, nor did he siege his typhoons, which which would have been much better of an idea. Okay, putting on that air attack boost to kill that Zeus quickly, but now he has more uh, more reinforcements. Okay, so buildings reinforced. Okay, so that just prevents my hawk from attacking his own base. Okay. And deciding to attack the units over here, uh, because this is kind of a pesky container collection. And boom, nice. Okay, perfect maneuvering over there. Uh, not to compliment on my, not to compliment myself, but yeah, I did a pretty good job with unit maneuvering. Okay, one more, one more shot. Okay, no, that was pretty bad. Okay, come on, come on. Nice. And one more. Nah, fuels out. Okay, putting on that common production boost so we can uh, spam some more, some more uh, stuff. Okay, having that buildings reinforced thing is always good. Okay, so it looks like he's gonna attack any second now. Okay. Oh, and just as a Reminder, whenever you get buildings reinforced and you have a sniper tower up and enemy infantry is going to attack you, it's actually a good idea because, believe it or not, but the sniper tower insta-shots any infantry unit with this buildings reinforced. And so I put on the common defense boost to increase the sniper tower's range, and boom, that assault's dead. Look at that assault. Oh. Nice. Going with my hawks. Okay, and looks like he's gonna attack. Okay, <laughs> shredding these infantry units as they get close. Oof, no infantry. No more manpower for this attack. Okay, splash damage. Killed the torrent as well. Okay, so sniper tower's down. Uh, since the building's reinforcement boost is out. But yeah, my hawks have it under control. Come on, cancel, cancel. No, no cancel. But it's okay, since uh, I basically got some free, some free uh, attacks on this guy. Okay, so moving my Jaguars from the middle of the map to the top, so I can attack him from the side. 
Okay, as a retaliation. Okay. And sending my riflemen up north to combat some units over here. Okay. Torrent. Okay, container. Nice, nice. Okay, perfect. As that's happening, I got Jaguars firing from here with a vehicle attack boost. Okay, siege up and kill that Zeus. Nice. Perfect. Okay, at this point, there's no... Uh, there's no kind of defending this base. He has zero rocket towers, zero bunkers. Uh, no torrent artillery to attack from long range. Uh, just a couple heavy assaults and Zeus. So, at this point, he has no more base. Okay, armadillos... I come in with Hawks as well, of course. Also making sure to get the map control and assist my units around the map. Okay, so, yeah. The sneaky attack that I just pulled off was actually very useful. Uh, since this attack basically took down his entire base, stopped his unit production, and that itself is very important because if you guys look at the score it's 21 to 22 right so yeah if this kept on going I might have actually lost uh, due to my enemy collecting the containers faster than I did okay but this one attack the surprise attack uh, after his own attack over here was actually a good move because I caught him off guard and that's all that's all it takes really you have to think strategically and use uh your units at the at the most uh you can possibly do and so we won this battle good game and i'll see you in the next one good game